exercised the powerful influence of Jesus against nature and in the lives of men and women and children in order that the kingdom of God in heaven may be filled with the children of God. Matthew recorded the words of our Lord as he says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavily laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, which means the works and the gifts of Christ. And then he goes on to say, Learn of me, for I am meek and lowly and humble, and ye shall find rest under your soul. Matthew was born and raised a Jew, so he was without doubt well acquainted with the expected coming of the Messiah. Prior to Matthew's life-changing encounter with Jesus, he was considered an outcast among his fellow Jewish brethren because he was a publican, a Roman tax collector. In Matthew's writings, we can see the powerful influence that Jesus had, not only in his life, but also in the lives of his disciples, in the lives of thousands who gathered around him to hear his teaching, his preaching, and to experience his miracles. The miracle-working influence of Jesus is still dynamically active in the world today. Yeah. Have I got a witness in here? Amen. Amen. God's interest and influence in the world and in the lives, physical and spiritual lives of men, women, boys and girls, take us back to the creative and the creation story. After God has fashioned the heavens and the earth, placing the fish uh, of the sea and, and the birds of the air and the beasts of the field in their respective places. Last but not least, God said, let us make man in our image and after our lives. A little lower than the angels. With careful consideration, God made from the dust of the earth and he breathed the breath of life into man's nostrils. And man became a living soul. <laughs> man was lowly, lonely, and incomplete down here by himself. So God made a woman by taking a rib from Adam's side. He fashioned woman to be a helpmeet for man. I know that there's a lot of problems going on in our world today. Have I got a witness? <laughs> Oh, there are a lot of problems. Problems with man power, female power, and the difficulties of the two walking together in complete harmony and carrying out the responsibilities that God has given uh, in peace and obedience. There are problems. Amen, church. Amen. But we can thank God today those problems are not bigger than our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Uh, ladies, you have a great God-given responsibility that is unique to who you are. But God has given the ultimate responsibility to the man. Can you say amen to that? said something about power problems. Amen. But God set in motion what he intended. Amen. Have I got a witness in here? Amen. When we can somehow come under his umbrella and say, yes, Lord, have your way. Things are going to fall into place. Amen. Amen. God's people are going to be blessed. Amen. After Eve had been deceived by Satan in the garden of Eden, and she pulled Adam into sin too, and the both of their eyes were opened and their nakedness to sin was open. When it was time to give an account, what
what had been done before God. God came looking for Adam, saying, where art thou? He didn't call Eve's name. Amen, Amen church. Amen. Amen. Somebody knows something about the scripture. Amen. He didn't call Eve's name. Great. He came looking for Adam. He gave Adam command. Not eat of the tree. Eve was there and she heard and went on and she was deceived. And, 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 and you know how babies can be sometimes. <laughs> Crutch under this arm. Trying to hobble back 
back up because I had some steps I had to go up to get to the yard. And then some more steps to get up on the porch. While I was in the process, here she comes. And she asked me, did I want to have some prayer? And you know, good Baptists, we don't refuse prayer. Amen. 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 I said, yes. Never stop walking. She followed me right on in the house. <laughs> Told me to get a chair and sit down and then put my foot up in another chair. And she laid her hand on my foot. I didn't know her from Adam. Didn't even ask her her name. And she began to pray. And she prayed. And she said, now stand up. And I stood up. And you know when that blood goes down, there's a tendency for that pain to just increase and intensify. I didn't feel a thing. I put a little weight on it. Still no pain. She said, walk around. And I walked around. Still didn't have any pain. Go take that chair back to the kitchen. I walked in the kitchen and took the chair back that she had me to lay my foot on. Went to the pond that day, walked all around the pond. Never felt any pain. Came back that evening, went upstairs and put my leg in the bathtub and soaked the cast off. Never went back to the doctor again. <laughs> Thousands of men in there. And they had maybe 
one for the women. And they had seven more that they were building up to house more men. I come to tell you, the enemy wants to take the men down. Amen. Amen. But God has given you something. We need some men to stand up Christian care. 
character that God wants his children to imitate, and that is from Monday through Saturday, business as usual. As Jesus speaks in verse 13 of this text, he is speaking to his true disciples. He says, ye are the salt of the earth. Anybody in here love the Lord? Amen. 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 Jesus is coming back. Ready or not, he's coming back. We don't know when he's going to show up. Amen. Amen. There are folk leaving this world every day. Amen. Funeral after funeral. Amen. So I come to tell you he's coming back. Yes. Amen. Amen. For each of us individually. Amen. And then he's going to break through those clouds one day for his church. Yes. But whenever he comes, yes. we want to be ready. Yes. Have I got a witness in here? Yes. Season and out of season. 
but they're not willing to be a blessing Amen. to anybody else. Amen. 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 They want to gather around them and hug whatever God has given to them. And there can be somebody hungry and needing something desperately. And many will resort to the fact that I have to work for. Thank you. 